Good morning, love train. It's another gloomy, dreary day outside. Um, I'm about to start editing today's video, but it has to do, like, some things, which is okay, because I wanted to, um, look up something, uh, on dream moods, uh, the dream dictionary online. Um, I had this crazy dream last night, uh, that I got into trouble with the police. And I'll tell you about it. You guys know how I just got my new scooter tags, right? Well, my scooter tags were in the dream. I was riding around and I was in downtown Sarasota. I think Ralph and Sarah were out with me too, but they weren't riding on my scooter with me. They had like brought the car. We were in Sarasota together, and we noticed how, like, there was this group of police, um, like, going around, like, walking around on foot, and they were being, like, really obsessive about checking everybody's tags to make sure that nobody had expired tags, and if they caught anyone, like, they would walk around, like, the parked cars, and, like, inspect everybody's tag and if they saw anybody who had expired tags they would like write them a ticket and I thought oh no problem because my scooter tags I, I just got them they're new and they don't expire till April you know so I I was just like huh, hey, whatever and so we ran around downtown a little bit and then I got back and I saw this group of cops sort of like around where my scooter was parked. And um, I went to my scooter to like get on and like ride back home. There had been a ticket on it. And I asked the, the sheriff who was supposedly like in charge of the whole operation. I asked him, I was like, why do I have a tag? I paid for it and like I, I shouldn't, I shouldn't be ticketed for this. The sheriff was like, well, that's a scooter tag and it's not a car tag. So you paid a lower price for your scooter tag. So, so you get a ticket. And I was just like, whatever, dude, this isn't legal and you know it. So I'm just going to disregard this. I'm going to walk away and I'm going to go back downtown and have some more fun. So Sarah and Ralph and I went back downtown and like we were having a good time. And then we decided to come back to the scooter and the car again. And sure enough, they had like messed with my license plate some more and they were still there like hanging around um what they had done was they had like taken off my license plate and they had given me like a stolen like scooter license plate and and he was like good luck driving around with that ha 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 you know and I I told him, I was like, this isn't legal, dude. You know it's not. Just because I have a motorcycle plate does not mean that you get to, like, harass me like this and stuff, you know? And he was like, I'll do whatever I want. I'm the sheriff and blah, blah, blah. And I was like, I got this license plate, and it doesn't expire till April, and it gives me freedom to drive wherever I want to in the state of Florida without this kind of harassment, you know, and, and he was like, except in Sarasota, this is my town, and I get to do what I want to, and I was like, uh, show me your name and badge number, I'm gonna call your superior tomorrow, and blah, 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 and then that's where my dream ended. Can you believe that? I'm going to look it up on dream moods right now, and we're gonna see. I guess I'll start by looking up police, since they seemed to be the main theme in my dream here. Okay, police. 
To see the police in your dreams symbolizes structure, rules, power, authority, and control. You need to put an end to your reckless behavior or else the law will catch up to you. Alternatively, the dream refers to failure in honoring your obligation and commitments. I could kind of see that. Structure, rules, power, authority, and control are things that, like, I normally don't respond well to. Mm -mm. I looked up what it means to see a scooter in your dream, because my scooter was in my dream. Um, it says, to see or ride a scooter in your dream suggests that you are enjoying your position of power. I can definitely see how that um, is applicable in my life right now. Um, also, license plate. I looked that up. It says, to see a license plate in your dream represents the freedom to run your own life and do whatever you want to do. And that's definitely like a position, a place in my life that I'm in right now. This feeling of like doing whatever I want and, you know, whatever impulses I have to like act on them, you know. All of that is something to uh, think about, I guess, as I'm going about my day to day. So, I hope that was interesting for some of you. <laughs> it's interesting to me. I try and, like, decode, like, every significant dream that I have, so... Yeah. I guess I'll start editing this video now, since it's ready. It's pasta time! Right, so it's almost time to leave for the show, and I just wanted to show you guys my outfit, even though I'm wearing my purse, because I'm like about ready to walk out the door, but I think the purse looks kind of neat with the whole ensemble, don't you? I rarely look in the mirror like while I have my purse on. It's very weird. Let me show you here. So I've got this I've got this sparkly shirt on that says, it says, I love IW, and that stands for I Love It Works. Um, this is a shirt that Sarah gave me when she was doing, um, there's like those wraps that you can wrap around yourself and they like detox you and it's supposed to like make you feel good and like make you feel skinnier and like all kinds of stuff. Um, so she gave me this shirt and I sometimes I just like to wear it. I don't wear it very often. Um, and then I've got my pashmina around my neck so that I stay warm. Um, I have my favorite little leather wrist cuff on. I just, I just love this thing. I got it in Nashville. And, um, y'all see me wear this hat all the time. It's like my favorite hat ever. And then this pair of jeans I got at, um, gosh, where did I get this? Forever 21, I think. And they're, they're real, real skinny and very cute. And then I have my Toms on and they're like, I wonder if I can get a closer look at these, but they're like artist, they're like made and designed by like artists, I almost fell into the bathtub just then, holy crap, um, but it's like a stencil, it's been like spray painted, so that's my outfit, and we're gonna head out the door very soon. And I've got myself a really tasty veggie sub here that I cannot wait to dig into. Yay! We're all Come home to me And I said, hey Ramblin' boy, why don't you say
fun we just had one of those shows tonight where like the magic was there you know and like the audience was so great and they were clapping along and come to find out um after we were done with our show and we had been talking to the wait staff it was a packed house tonight and we just thought like oh you know it's just season is kicking in and they're just busy. Great. You know, we've got a large audience to play for. Wonderful. But after the show was over and we were talking to some of the wait staff, they were like, you know, guys, almost every table that all of us had tonight, uh, they said that they were here to see you. So, um, it was, it was just so neat and so rewarding to know that like, not only did we play in front of a packed house, but we played in front of a packed house that we brought ourselves, you know. And this place is not a small place. It's kind of a big bar, you know. And um, so, yeah, it's just so exciting. And uh, wow, what a mate. What an amazing, magical, great show. This is why I do what I do. This is why I love it. It's... Um, in that way, it's very, very rewarding. So, I'm a happy lady tonight. Yay! Now I just get to chill at home and just be calm and not do anything. So, I'm excited for that. Alright, internet. I'm in my pajamas and I want to go to sleep. I'm so tired. <laughs> 
I am ready to be done with this day. Tomorrow is a new day where, once again, we have a show. So tune in for that. Um, and I hope everybody had a great day. I had a, a really great day. It was really wonderful. I want to let everybody know if this is the first time that you're watching me. I do make a video every day of my life and, and what happens and all that stuff. So uh, please don't forget to subscribe and jump on the love train with us. Woo -woo! Also, like and comment on my videos because it like totally helps spread the word on YouTube when you do that. And share my videos with your friends. Share them with everybody. Um, you can find me, if you want to, on Facebook, and that is facebook.com slash lilhipster. I can also be found on Twitter, Tumblr, and Instagram, too, under the exact same name. Oh, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to eat your fruits and vegetables. Have a great night. Bye-bye.